When we are infants below age seven, both hemispheres are integrated. It's called whole yeah. brain or hemi-sync. And this is how come children can download massive quantities of data. But after age seven, the hemispheres separate. And then it's like a wave. Sometimes during the day, you're more left. And then sometimes you're more right, more intellectual, more emotional. And so it depends on where you are during the day. It happens several times. But the idea is you want to get back into super learning, then you want the two hemispheres to come. Remember, my right arm is controlled by my left hemisphere. But if yep. the right arm crosses the midline, it gets picked up by the other hemisphere again. So, oh. so all of a sudden, it's controlled by my left hemisphere when it's over here. But if it crosses the midline, now it's controlled still by my left hemisphere, because that's where the muscles are controlled, but it's working in harmony with the right hemisphere, which is observing this part of the field. Very so cool. when you cross your arms and, and you hold them like this, okay? And uh, here's another part, because the arms and legs are both the same thing in this regard. Yeah. And this, if you understand it, this is why when you see people relax unconsciously, if they're sitting in a chair and relaxing, there's a tendency to cross their ankles. To wow. Sit Wow. Just watch them. It's just it's a natural thing. I say, why? Because when you cross your ankles, you're doing the same thing. Right and left become integrated. When you become integrated, it calms people down.